The pharmaceutical and agricultural chemical industries are among those that might benefit from a new approach to making complex molecules. Researchers believe their discovery might lead to more cost-effective manufacturing. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. David McMillan's Princeton lab is a large and active one. Nearly 40 grad students and postdoctoral fellows are pursuing a wide range of projects with at least one shared aim. David Nisevich, who led experiments recently published in the journal Science, explains. The basic you know, premise of what we do is to shorten the number of steps it takes to make a pharmaceutically relevant compound. Where they succeed in streamlining pharmaceutical processes, the researchers expect other industries to benefit as well. Their latest result allows a simple, low-power light source to give a complex reaction just the push it needs. The key, they say, was in combining ideas from two traditionally separate branches of chemistry. They made a hybrid of a type of organic catalyst developed here and the inorganic catalyst that gives this reaction vessel its ruby red glow. This is how nature does chemistry, but typically not the way that we do it in a lab. The inorganic part of catalyst, we're using them like an antenna for light. Once this catalyst is excited, it's happy to give off an electron to another molecule. But at the same moment, you have another catalyst which is doing another event, it's forming another activated species. They combine in two catalytic cycles that, that are very carefully and in, in, intricately intertwined to take two molecules and basically fuse them together to make a third molecule. Previously, McMillan says it took high-energy, ultraviolet light sources to play a similar role in organic chemical reactions. So although those reactions, those photolytic reactions have been known for a long time, they've never been used to generate these molecules on a scale large enough for society. We could now effectively take one of these light strips from the ceiling, simply immerse it into a large reaction vessel on a manufacturing site, and it'll do exactly the same process. With support from the National Institutes of Health and Merck, the team is also exploring new chemistry that this approach could enable. We anticipate that a, a broad range of, of new reactions can be realized using this dual catalyst platform. Patrick Regan. NJN News, Princeton.